the net never break, it start to break. And how do I know that? Because all the fishes that was in the net, they pulled them up. So if it was really break, it would be empty and the last they catch. But the Greek word means it begin to break like the ship begin to sink but never sink. Hallelujah. And the Bible said uh, the other ship which was his brethren the second ship of three brethren Pastor, when the overflow comes, you have to know who you call to share your catch with. You can't call everybody. You have to make sure you know who is James and who is John. When you're having your brotherhood or your sisterhood, you can't call everybody. Call it because they will mess it up. Because all these fishes must be taken alive. That's why he used net. And so Matthew said, we have a net to cast the vilest sinner. They must be taken alive. So we have to know the kind of net to use to cast sinner and take them alive and train them. None must be troubled dead. Hallelujah! When you cast them, keep them alive. That's why in the Genesis, God said to Noah, get the animals inside, keep them alive. And it is the responsibility of the pastor to keep Jack, Jill alive. Somebody said, keep them alive. Yeah. When I look at the hawk, the crow eat dead meat. But nothing couldn't dead for the crow to eat in the hawk. That's his delicacy. But no one could not allow anything to die in there. It's his responsibility to keep every animal alive. So that when God returned, all that was in the heart, all that God locked in. Must be kept alive. So I'm calling to the officers of the church who work with your pastor. Make sure. That everyone God locked in the church, help him to keep them alive. Give God a shout of praise in the house. Because when responsibility has been delegated, it means that you are responsible for the soul. Some responsible for the horse. Hallelujah. Some responsible for the snakes. But make sure at the end of the day when the Lord returns. The poor snake is still alive. So whatever God gives to us in the keeping, you make sure we do everything with our life to keep it alive. Keep God a shout of praise in the house. Hallelujah. Bible said Matthew, when they when they cast the violent sinner, when they trap them in, there is a selectorial process to select those and cast them back in the water. My God, but after a while, in John, it is said that when Peter catch them, this time the ship 
never start sink. And the net wasn't broken. Praise the Lord. And there was great fishes in the net this time. Nothing to show back. <laughs> Lord Jesus. So the net was much stronger in John than in Luke. The ship was much more steady in John than in Luke. The fishes was described as great fishes in John. The church must grow. So when we are baiting, we know the bait to catch the fishes. I close on this note. If you know anything about fishing, different chalk for different form, different bait for different fishes. The bait that the chalk for chalk fish cannot catch parrot. He can't catch snapper. There's a bait to catch snapper. Yes. Yeah, some snapper out there, you know. We have to study what bait to catch the snapper. So that when you go after whatever, there is nothing to refuse. Because you know what you're going after. If you're going after Marlin, when I catch Marlin, you don't throw back Marlin. You go after Marlin. But when you are immature, you don't throw your and catch everything. Because there are some preaching, catch everything. And have up everything. I want to know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. But by the get to John, eh, who saw him as the son of God, eh, the Bible said the ship was steady and the net wasn't broken and he got great fishes. Because he learned from Matthew. You may catch them and see they can show up uh, to look where the, 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 the net break and the ship was about to sink. Uh, to John there it was steady and great fishes in the sea. We have to move. So we don't compromise the preaching and catch everything. Sometimes you catch on something you can't let it go and it kill you. You can't get rid of it. Some have 10 head and 20 hand. You can't move it because you're being a trap. Dragon. Hallelujah. We can't drop beer to attract devils and demons. Our message cannot be attractive. Hallelujah. Because when you throw it on the right hand side, if you notice in John, he did not say launch out in the deep and let down. He said, casting it on the right hand. Because he know what kind of fish on the right hand. So we're not throwing on the left to catch everything. Because sometimes when the things are net full, by the time you try it in and select, not no left. But when we learn, we catch great fishes, Pastor. We catch some fish, my God Almighty, that can buy bus for the church. Can remodel the temple. One check, and we're dead free. Can have some great fishes out there. <laughs> but the neck that catch some like a ticky ticky can't catch wheel. The line that catch a 10 pound fish can't catch a 200 pound fish. We have to study what size a line to cast for what size fish. All of them fish in the sea belongs to God. We have to learn how to catch them.
God bless the best family in the world. And so we have to learn. And this is why we need to start. The word is we have to press upon Jesus now. Right? To tell us where to put it. We can't just hold on to our witness to everybody. Or we catch some snakes. You have to press upon Jesus. So when Jesus said, go down to that person, uh, my God and my dad speak to him tomorrow morning. Like he said to Peter and Cornelius, he said, send for Peter. He said to Saul, go down to Ananias, he will tell you what to do. So when we catch it like that, we got great fishes. Keep God a shout of praise in the house. We don't have no time to catch snake now. By the time, by the time few weeks, everybody get bite up. And before we go there fishing, everybody swell up. Out here can head here can back here can every year. Some things pressing into the church now, God Almighty. If we load them in, all of the little sheep, them gone. Because my sheep know my voice. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. If you let go some preacher on this pulpit, my God, everybody got to bed. Venom. I'm calling the church of a living God to get back pressing, pressing upon Jesus. I'm calling you back to prayer, calling you back to fasting, calling you back to Bible class. The soul of the book. I refuse to waste any time and just do my own thing and witness to what I feel like witness to. I want God to say, talk to the sister there. Yeah. Refuse to seek job, just seek job so. Yeah. God is going to say, go to that institution. Yeah. I'm not joking, I'm serious. Yeah. Those of you who want to get married, don't just look at Coca, Coca Cola bottle. Yeah. And pretty looks that is just skin deep. See God. Because any piece of gold you find on the surface, the, surf, the surface, cheap. If you want real gem, you're going to have to dig deep. That's why it's called mining. God bless you. God bless you. Let us stay in the world. Stay in the world, church. Stay in the world. Don't stay on the shallow. Don't be afraid of the darkness and the impossibilities. Because everything about God is impossible. <laughs> everything about God is humanly impossible. But with God, all things. And this is how most of the time, you know, when God speaks. Because what he said, it's not possible. Amen. Satan wanted you to do something that you can't do. Because you know? he wanted to do it. But most of the things that God said, it's not humanly. Came out of your me at 33,000. And God trimmed it down to 300. And said, so you're going to win the war. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. Let us stand over here as we close. Hallelujah. If there's anyone who is willing to go deep, just run to the altar right now. And get under that show one more time. And let's go deep. Come on, get up from where you are. This is serious. 
We need real power. No longer can we declare and not demonstrate. That is deception. Hallelujah. 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 The church is a church of signs and wonders. It's a church of miracles. People need to get back the fear of Almighty God. We have lost it, Pastor. People do the nastiest thing and still walk in the apostolic church and testify. You have some preachers in the pulpit. God help them. Come on, come on. If there's anyone else to pray for me, you come. Before I hand back the mic, let me just encourage you to come to the altar. You know, praise God, where you need to go. You know what God is saying to you. You know what you're afraid of. You know what you're afraid of. You know your shortcomings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church is a people of purpose and destiny. We don't want to fire blank or talk blank. We aim and we shoot. Hallelujah. We look at the target. We aim and we fire. Hallelujah. 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 Let's maximize our faith in God. It's not, it's not church as usual. It's the worship as usual. It's deep. We're going to launch out. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. I'm just going to pray for these that are in the over to our pastor. Will the church stand everywhere? I just want to ask you just to believe God one more time. Irrespective of your nevertheless, whatever it is, you can get that breakthrough this moment. This is the moment of opportunity. And I must tell you, this is the best moment of the rest of your life. Okay, this is the only moment you're absolutely sure about. Oh yes, eternal God. And our maker, our God. Our Father, we thank you. We adore you, we magnify you. We are standing upon your word. Jesus, we believe you. Faith activate your words and let it become alive. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your people, for your anointing. Lord Jesus, your people is now standing on the altar, Lord. Having heard the word and respond by moving into the deep. They are now in the depth of the sea, Lord God, walking upon the water, walking upon impossibilities. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Lord, that they will speak the word and give the directive, oh God Almighty, what next? What is my next move? In the name of Jesus, send that word, oh God, and heal them. Send that word, God, and remind them. In the name of Jesus, uh, let there be a shaking, almighty God. Jesus. Jesus. Uh, activate, oh God, that substance in them called faith. Give us the evidence of the unseen. So we can use faith to say without this evidence, it is impossible to please you, Jesus. 
We want to please you, God. And so I pray you send the evidence. Touch our hearts. Give us one more testimony. Oh, God Almighty, help us to pass this one last test. To give us this one last testimony that will propel us across the Red Sea. Bless us now, we pray, Lord. And Lord, the promise that once we have crossed, we will sound the timbrel. We'll play upon the instrument of strings and keys. We'll play upon the drums. Hallelujah. We will lift our holy hands. We'll open our mouth and we'll sing your praises. Take us across one more time, God. In the name of our God. Heal our bodies this one more time. Jesus, 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 show us your awesome power one more time, God. Let it be evident today so that we walk through these doors. We have this testimony of your awesome power. Bless us now, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Now unto us, for unto thy name give glory. As we say thanks in the name of the Lord. Lift your hands and give God a shout of praise in the hand. God has spoken. Inside the church.